you should not be going to a parade and there should not be an over under on how many people get shot, stabbed and homicides at a parade every year. What's going on, y'all, man? So today I want to talk about a toxic tradition that need to be broken, and that is the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn, New York. This parade every year, someone gets shot. So this year, five people got shot at the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn, and it's regular scheduled programming. This is what I mean by breaking away from toxic traditions, because literally I can remember since I was maybe 15 years old hearing about this parade the the parade is synonymous with somebody getting shot so in this video i'm gonna share a clip with you guys from pix11 news and after that i'm gonna read some comments from the video so you guys get an understanding of how common this is so let's get to this clip from pix11 news man and as always i'll leave a link in the description so you can check this video out in its full entirety so we're following breaking news out of Brooklyn, where five people were shot along the route of the West Indian American Day Parade. Well, several of them now left fighting for their lives. Meanwhile, we say thank you for joining us here at 5. I'm Erin E. LeBeau. And I'm Shirley Chan, in for Kendis tonight. Now, police just gave an update moments ago, and pix 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live in Crown Heights with the very latest on the breaking details. Anthony. Surely, and Erin E., uh, we spoke with one eyewitness within the last half hour who really was still quite visibly shaken. She still had ringing in her ears from the gunshots that rang out on the parade route as she was watching the carnival pass by earlier this afternoon. It was around 2.45 when a lone gunman, police say, started opening fire into a section of the crowd, hitting five people. But right now, you'd really never know anything was going on. It's pretty much all business as usual here at the parade. As you can see, uh, people have still crowded the side streets, Eastern Parkway. And, and that's what I mean by regular scheduled programming. This happens every year. This is so, so commonplace. People just walking around like nothing is going on. Like, yeah, regular scheduled programming. Somebody got shot. All right, let's, um, you know, wind up upon some girl or some gal. I'm probably saying it wrong. Excuse me. My Caribbean accent is horrible. You probably want to wind up with somebody and continue to have, and have your party. Nobody cares. This happens every year. Happens every year. Let's continue on. Is about a block up from there, and that is where it all unfolded. Take a look at this video from moments after the gunshots rang out, where police say five people were wounded by those bullets as shell casings were splattered all across the parade route, which actually had to. Okay. Don't know what happened with that. Of Carnival. Oh. Police tell us that the one suspect did manage to get away, but there is no active threat to the community at this point, they say. However, they are still searching for that man in his 20s who was wearing a bandana, a brown shirt, and they say had an oil or paint stain on it. So they That's everybody. <laughs> That's most people at the parade. That's probably 85% of the people in the parade with a shirt with paint and oil on it. That's probably 85% of the people there. They're still actively searching for that gunman. As for the victims, all were taken to Kings County Hospital, and we are told right now all are in stable condition except for one who is fighting for their life. Remember that witness I told you about earlier, she picks it up from here. 30 seconds later, pop, 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 like these shots and it was so loud in my head so I wasn't nervous so everyone just ducked where I was and we started running but then my friend I was looking for him and I saw him like right there but I had to turn around and see what was going on and look there was like two people laying on the floor a gentleman uh, had a wound in his head and mm. they caught it in time because there's cops everywhere so they band-aid him up really fast and put him in an older woman not sure if it was his mother or not that was sitting right next to me literally I was just close to death today. Is that serious? You seen that you heard that she said I was that close to death today. When I say this happens every year, this happens every year. This is synonymous. Going to the West Indian Day Parade, you are expected to do the little Kim. You are expected to 
you are expected to do the little camp at the Western Day Parade. It's regular scheduled programming. Not because it's Brooklyn. You know, shout out to Brooklyn. Little Kim is from Brooklyn. No, you're expected to do the Little Kim. Let me read some comments from the video because I want to give you guys how common this is and how everybody know that this is happening when it comes to the Western Day Parade. This comment said, when I was a kid living in Brooklyn, I was forbidden to go to the West Indian Parade. Every single year, the same conversation. There is nothing I could tell my mother or grandmother. It was always no. Guess what? I'm 59 years old. Some things never change. <laughs> Next comment. Violence at a West Indian Day Festival? Who would have thought? Next comment. There's nothing surprising about this. Happens every year. It's criminally permissive event. Happens every year. There's an over under on shot, killed, and homicides at the West Indian Parade. Knew it was going to happen. An annual event, and I don't mean the parade. When I say that this happens every year, every year, we talking about a gentleman who left a comment said, I was 59 years old trying to go to here when I was a kid, and my mother and grandmother would tell me no. 59. I'm 41. I remember this being synonymous with an annual event the west india parade somebody getting shot and killed or somebody getting stabbed someone whatever when i was 15. so we talking about decades of this happening annually well i don't know what the city's going to do about it maybe this is a form of population control you know i'll be having my conspiracy theories but every year this happens every year this this is what i mean by breaking away from toxic traditions you should not be going to a parade and there should not be an over under on how many people get shot, stabbed and homicides at a parade every year. This is what I mean, man. We need to break away from toxic traditions. Either y'all need to shape up at this parade or they need to cancel the parade altogether. We talking about people that's 60 years old saying that their mothers told them they can't go as a kid. That's how long it's been going on. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. And as always, Wherever you find Broken Traditions, make sure you follow me. And if you want to join the newsletter, you can join the newsletter. Sign up at my website, www.brokentraditions.com. And you can sign up for the newsletter. And if you would like to buy some merch for you signing up, you get 10% off. Also, podcast episodes come out every Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, wherever you watch or listen to your podcast. Greatly appreciate y'all. I'm Anton. Next time, peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.